Hi, this video tutorial I will cover why we use uh, synchronization. Here you can see Jack, here you can see Jill. Both are husband and wife and uh, they have a joint account in HDFC Bank. And uh, in their joint account, they have uh, $1000. Both Jack and Jill decided to transfer $200 each in their joint account at the same time using online wire transfer. So at the end of the transaction, they should have $1,400 in their account. $1,000 is already there in the joint account and $200 transferred by Jill, $200 transferred by Jack. So total $1,400 should be there in their joint account at the end of the transaction. So without synchronization, what problem we will face, we will see now. Here I have defined the class bank account and it has a deposit method. Using this deposit method, we can deposit money to the bank. And uh, this deposit method accept amount which user wants to deposit. And uh, inside deposit method, I am getting a current account balance by passing the account number. And once I get the account balance, I am adding the account balance to the amount which uh, user wants to deposit. And uh, here I am getting a new account balance. Once I get the new account balance, I am updating the new account balance in the database table using uh, update account balance method and uh, if transaction is successful this method returns uh, true both jack and jill transfer 200 dollar each at the same point of time assume jill thread started first which is uh, thread 1 current balance is uh, 1000 dollar and 200 dollar which uh, jill wants to transfer so new account balance is $1,200. Before Jill Thread updates uh, new account balance uh, $1,200 in HDFC table, contact switch happens and Thread 2 starts executing. Thread 2 is nothing but Jack Thread. Here uh, Jack Thread calculates the new account balance. Current balance is uh, $1,000 and $200 which uh, Jack wants to transfer. So new account balance is $1,200 and Jack Thread updates $1,200 in HDFC table. So now current account balance is $1,200. Once Jack Thread finishes the execution, Jill Thread resumes the execution from this line and update the new account balances $1,200 in HDFC table. So the final account balance will be $1,200 but expected account balance should be $1,400. So $200 is less in the current account balance because of race condition. So this kind of inconsistency problem will occur if we are not using synchronization. Whatever I have explained in the previous slide, I have put together here. You can just uh, pause the video and uh, read this one. If you are not using synchronization, race condition will occur. To fix race condition, we have to use uh, synchronization. Here we will see with synchronization, how race condition problem is solved. Here you can see the deposit method and I have made this deposit method as synchronized method. So at a time only one thread can execute this method. If one thread is executing this method, other threads has to wait. Both Jack and Jill transfer $200 each at the same point of time. Assume Jill thread started first. Here uh, Jill thread calculating the new account balance. Current account balance is $1000 and Jill wants to transfer $200. So new account balance will be $1200. Jill thread updates uh, new account balance $1200 in STFC table. 
So current account balance is thousand two hundred dollar. Once Jill thread finishes the execution, Jack thread started, which is thread two. Here Jack thread calculates the new account balance. Current account balance is thousand two hundred dollar. Jack wants to transfer two hundred dollar. So new account balance will be thousand four hundred dollar. Jack thread updates new account balance. $1,400 in HDFC table. So the final account balance will be $1,400, which is matching the expected result, which is $1,400. So using synchronization, we can avoid race condition and we can avoid inconsistency problem. Here you can see the bank account class. Here you can see the account DAO class. And this is about why we use synchronization. And thanks for watching.